I know it's been a while. Everyone's been asking, when's the next Walk of Fame? Well, guys, I managed to get Campire in because he's a busy man and so am I. But here we are, guys. And not only do we have this video, but we also have another one coming up. And oh boy, you're going to love that one because that's. Gonna be <laughs> <laughs> but that's for next week. That's your Easter present, right? Or your Easter egg. Today, guys, and this was Kempire's idea, and I agree 100%. We were like, what should we do? Who should we read? What, you know, what is Walker Fam going to be about today? And Kempire said, why don't we do Beverly Hills, The Housewives? It's coming up, premieres on his birthday. So, woohoo! 11th, 11th. May. 11th of May, and there's just so much tea and so much juice and so much drama going on around the housewives, the Beverly Hills housewives who were like, you know, we're nosy, we're curious. I read the cards and Kemp reads them. For Phil. Yeah, so that's why we're back. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. I'm surprised that we didn't think of it immediately to do it. I, know. I mean, there's so many celebrities to talk about. But when you have a new season of Beverly Beverly Hills coming and so many sordid pasts uh, coming up, I, I need to ask the cards. And a lot of what I know, I have not said anything to Femme Daryl specifically no. because I want to see what the cards say. And actually, I was glad that he said that because I haven't been following the tea and what's been going on the last couple of weeks because I've had other stuff going on. And I told Kemp, I actually prefer it that way. The less I know, the better the reading. So. Before we jump in, guys, let me remind you, click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and please share this video. I mean, who knows? Someone else might be interested in the filth and the tea that's going on in Beverly Hills. Spread the word, spread the love. Right, shall we jump in? We can jump in, but I have to show you what yeah. I showed my community. You know, I love my crystals, and some of the crystals that I bought from your shop, illuminaryshop.com, are in <laughs> my, my, my mist. Over here. I love that. I love how it's co color coordinated as well. You've got all the green ones. I didn't do that <laughs> on purpose. It just happened. You did? <laughs> it just Beautiful. Happened. Which one would you say that you're most drawn to? Which crystal would you say? I would have to say this one that I don't even have in there. This is another one that I got from your shop. Yeah, green moss agate, guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful. I don't have it anymore. It's been sold out. <clears throat> Sorry, because it's not. <laughs> As someone we know who tried to shop on my shop, she said, when are you bringing your crystals? Because Kempire bought them all. She's right. You but snooze, I'm... you lose. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bringing you crystals in this week. I've had a little bit of an issue with delivery, but they're coming in this week. So green moss agate, because you were asking, any green crystal is about attracting abundance as well. So that one you should put you know, where you put your, where, where do you store your wallet? Put it next to it, for instance. Oh, okay. He's about to run out and put it next to his wallet. For instance, um, it's also super protective and grounding. So after meditation, for instance, you can take that in your hand to ground yourself once you've mm -hmm. finished. Uh, great. You started Reiki courses too. Mm -hmm. So it's a great crystal to to use while you're doing Reiki or after Reiki. Okay, good it's to know. It's got a very, very mild, beautiful, but strong and powerful energy about it. And when I mean mild, I mean beginners can use it. Anyone can use it. You can feel the vibration when you hold it on an, on an open palm, the mm -hmm. open palm of your hand. You can feel the vibrations. Mm. I, I mean, as soon as I saw it, and I think, you know, a lot of people – always wonder like what crystals should I get? And I, one of the things that I always hear people say is this, whatever that you're attracted to, that's what you should get. If it's in person, then you should feel it. How does it feel to you? You know, are connected to it in some right. shape or form. And since I bought this online from your shop, I just went towards the things that I was attracted to. And I, I bought quite, quite a few, <laughs> including, is this angelite? That's angelite, right? That's, mm -hmm. Those are beautiful. These are to connect with the angels and with the spiritual realm. So, and I just told Kempire before we came on that he should put it under his pillow because when we're asleep, that's when you, you're you able to connect the best with angels, guides, and the higher realms, basically. I have it here. I have it in my bedroom, too. Um, 
<laughs> he comes up with a ton of crystals under his pillow. <laughs> I wish I wish my boo luck. I'm like, what the hell is this? Don't worry about it. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Just like. It's like the princess with um what's that story with the princess and the pea? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was one pea and then there were like layers and layers, or there were like mattresses and mattresses and mattresses, and the real princess could feel the pea, whereas the fake princesses didn't. I think I'm saying that story right, or maybe I've just made I mean, up the story in my head. Who cares? <laughs> Look, they don't know. <laughs> They don't us. know. Maybe they do. Who knows? <laughs> Look, they'll correct us in the comments. Y'all usually do. Of course they will. It's okay. We're welcoming everyone, you know. We welcome the comments, good or bad. Make it's it good. Aries season. Hey, Aries. Who who will we shade today? Let me think. Who's Definitely Aries from Beverly Hills? Uh, I don't know. Who's Hold Aries from Beverly Hills? Not Kyle. Not Araga. I don't, um, I don't really know their really. astrological signs like that. I'm gonna have to look it up. Let me see what Garcelle is. The new ones, we have to check the new ones out. What their star signs are. Also, Garcelle is a her she's a Sagittarius with a Taurus moon. There you go. Taurus you moon. Go. Is that why I like her? Yeah. Um, I don't see her rising though. Hmm. You wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see it if they don't have the time of birth. Yeah. Then they wouldn't. Well, how about the new ones, the new housewives? You already know about Erica. Let me see. Diana. Well, Diana Jenkins is not really her real name. Oh, really? <laughs> how come? Well, she, she decided to change it. What's her real name? Oh, my goodness. She, it's a part of her foundation, too. I can't remember. It's a, I can't pronounce it. Where is Diane Jenkins? So that might be hard to find her chart there. I mean, she's also not, I mean, she's rich, but she's not famous. Well, okay, forget. And who's the other one? There's one more, right? Another new No. Housewife. Oh, she's no, that's it? Okay. She, she's the only newest housewife. Oh, we have Cherie Garcelle's bestie, right. who is a, um, I don't know her birth chart, but she's, she, you know, she was married to Will Smith. You know, so she, uh -huh. she's been in reality TV before, but she's the new friend out. Okay, but we don't know her sign. But anyways, it's Aries season, no Aries in Beverly Hills Housewives. Sorry, but a lot of Cancers and Virgos. Mm. But, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Was that um, about the Cancers or the Virgos? Both. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, both, look. But I, I've discovered my... my which sign I'm staying away from indefinitely. Um, son, son, her, her, Cherie, Garcelle's bestie, her son is Libra. Her moon is Scorpio. Uh-oh. Oh. oh relationship okay. issues. I don't know what her current relationship status is, but she's had some relationship issues. Well, we'll find out. Let's grab the cops then. Yes, let's get into it. So, you know, let's start light. Let's start light. Let's, let's ask what's going on with Cherie. Just generally, what's going on in her life yeah. now? I don't want to think okay. too deep. She's just a friend of. Okay. <laughs> I love that. I mean, the, I, the real focal point this season is going to be around Kathy Hilton, it appears. It seems yeah. so, right? Yeah, it seems like everyone's coming after Kathy, specifically Lisa Renna and Erica Jane. Well, we'll find out that, too. We'll get there. Hold on. Let's, let's, start, let's start with Cherie. Because Cherie was recently photographed with Will Smith, um, because you know they, they they share a son together. Mm -hmm. They've mm -hmm. always had a very good amicable relationship, at least in recent years. And she was at the Oscars, an Oscar party with him, and she took a photo with his Oscar and him. So, oh. in a recent interview, Garcelle says, you know, she did check in on Cherie after everything happened at the Oscars, and she didn't elaborate on too much. But I want to know where Cherie's head's at, maybe specifically. Uh, just with can, the, uh, I'll tell you, it's all her head is all about work, okay, mm. and making money. Obviously, so obviously she's getting paid for the show, anyways. This new project for her, but she's very focused lately, and I would say the last few years in work, it's all mm. about work. She's she's become very very focused. 
Now, the thing is, I think because in her personal life, she's going through some stuff because I've got here the two of swords. So is she currently with some, do you know her relationship status at the moment? Honestly, I don't. I was literally just asking myself that in a video because I knew she was married yeah. after Will. She was married to Will, but then she was married again to, I believe, a pastor when she was on another reality oh. show. I don't know if they're still together. I don't think so, though. I don't know, but it seems to me that something's off in, in her life. So she's between, she's about, well, she's trying to decide to make like some changes in her life right now because she's not, she's not happy. I have the Eight of Cups here. So oh. Eight of Cups just shows that she's done with something, that she wants to move on from something that's happening and the world. So, and this is a major arcana. So, and probably because of the show, her life is going to change. A lot of things are going to change. And in a good yeah, way? In a magician, yes, in a good way. Yes! She manifested, she manifested it. She wanted to be on the show, probably. Wow. For a while. So it's going to change. It's going to change to the better her life. That's for sure. And that's why she's very focused. She could have money problems, which is one of the reasons why she's so focused in work right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Man. Death and rebirth. Yeah. Something is coming to an end. She's... I, I something big changes in her life. She's not at a place right now to make that decision or to go for that and close a door that she needs to close. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna, it's happening. It's gonna happen, and I do feel it's gonna happen during the airing of the show. I'm not saying that we're gonna see it. I'm saying, I'm saying yeah, yeah. That in real time, it's gonna happen maybe May or June. That's what I feel. I'm happy to hear that. Just look at us saving lives and helping people. I think that the show is actually a blessing for her. It's going to help her in more ways than than none. Oh, I love that. Yeah, good for her. History. All right, now let's move on to the mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking because um, Chris Kungdinkoff. I'm starting with the Chris. Okay. I, mean this, I mean this in the best way. The least problematic people. He's an Aquarius. Oh, is she? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, maybe that's why I like her. I do like her for the show. But, however, according to sources, they were saying that she needs to bring it this season. There were talks about her not returning. I know. But this season, based on the trailer, they were talking about her eating disorder. What What's going on with Crystal this season that you can see in the cards? Like, what, what's happening with Crystal? And will she be returning for another season after this? Okay, I wasn't aware she had an eating disorder. She talked about it briefly last season. So, hold on. So, the question about Crystal is... Where is her head when it comes to the show? Okay. Because th that will let us know how the season went for her. Mm-hmm. All right, no jumper cards. Um, let's see... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't look ooh. Okay, take it back. All right. Um, I have a lot of eights here. So she's going through some stuff. I can tell you. Okay, where's her head at? I I feel we're gonna see a very different crystal this year this season. Okay, I feel she's gonna bring a lot more energy and fire. Mm-hmm. My Aquarius girl. Okay. Um, the other thing is, we are probably going to find out of a new business venture, like most housewives do during. I'm she. Now. She had a business before this, though. A new one. Oh, a new one, new one, new one. So she's definitely going to capitalize being on the housewives with something new. So I think she's going to present it. We're going to find out about it during the show. Mm. Family wise, she's good. So in the family, I don't feel I feel everything's stable, it's good and everything, but she's not in a good place emotionally. Maybe she's going through a depression. Maybe, you know, she's she's the world. What is going on? She's also got the world. Why is this season? Why is this season going to change? Crystals and and Cherie. Cherie's lives. It is, because I got the world card for Crystal too. So it seems to me that 
after the show stops airing, it's almost going to bring for both of them like big changes, positive ones. Because okay. I feel, with Crystal, I also feel that she she's probably going through something now, but it's not with her husband. It's not a relationship thing. It could be with her parents. It could be, you know, family issues going on there. But Crystal, hold on. She's got kids, right? Yes, two kids. Hmm. She might have a third one. Wow, this ring is starting off very good news. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to find out if she's pregnant now. Okay. Okay, now, as in today. <laughs> or she is going to get pregnant soon, though, very soon. That'd be her son, story she's for having you. a son! <gasps> you know, people like, people like to come for you, um, Femtera, in your predictions, but more, more times than not, your predictions are on point. But let, can we address the, the, the elephant in the room? I wish I had my, my sound effects. The elephant in the room. <laughs> J-Lo got engaged over the weekend and everyone has been like, oh, you said they were going to break up, but now they are in love finally. Can we just can have I a side? Can we have a side moment? <laughs> just look at the cards for J-Lo. <laughs> because I just don't think that's worth an entire video. Okay, let me just say about that. I oh. know what I said. I always stand by my predictions. Of course, mm -hmm. I can be wrong when it comes to reading with celebrities because they're not here. They didn't ask for the reading. They're not open. So it's not like I have free reign there and I can see everything and I receive everything. But I, as I always say, wait and see. Things sometimes get delayed. Because I stand have by everything choice. I've said. I stand by personal everything. Choice. Mm -hmm. That can change it, your future. Exactly. And it doesn't mean, and with Teresa and Louis, the same thing, because we did a prediction about them too. And they're engaged now. And I said, I, when we did the reading, I said, I don't see them getting married. And now I tell you, if they get married, it's going to be annulled. And the same goes for JLo and, and Ben. Yeah. I don't feel, I didn't see it during the reading. I don't feel it now. I don't feel this is genuine. I think JLo, yes, she loves to be in love. She just loves to be in relationships, and that's who she is. I don't feel anything from him. Just saying. Do you want me to pull? Yes, let's pull something. You know, just a quick little something. You know, we'll we'll separate this video too, so that we can have a little clip or something. Since we were talking about some of the housewives from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, let's delve into Garcelle because that's the latest drama going on on social media. Garcelle has a new book out, "Love Me as I Am." But she just also lost her job at The Real because The Real was mm. canceled after eight seasons. No, not bad for a daytime talk show. But what's going on with, with Garcelle? Will the, the things get better? Mm, let's find out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, the sun thinks we'll get better, yeah? Hold on, let's find out. King of Cups, Death, Rebirth. All right, so I have the sun here. So it means that she is in a good place, okay? She's not she's not that heavily affected by all these changes. But she's going through a death moment. So a death, rebirth moment, which means that it's... Ah, okay, hold on, hold on. You, I hope you realize she d does have a man in her life. No, I did not realize that. I'm happy <laughs> for her, though. Uh, yeah, and he's like, he comes off as a water sign. But that's fine. <laughs> I know, you can close your mouth now. <laughs> I mean, just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for her. Right, exactly. But it doesn't necessarily mean that he is a water sign. It's, it It means that he has that water element is very dominant in his energy, right? It's not necessarily bad. Um, and so he, she does have, but that's the thing. Here's the thing. The only thing that I see around Garcelle that doesn't look good in the future is the income. I feel that she might struggle finding jobs or good jobs or well-paid jobs. 
After yeah. housewives, I mean, like acting mm -hmm. jobs, gigs, or stuff like that. So I mean, it she's, doesn't. She stays finding a job, though. Hmm? She stays finding a job. Oh, and then I got the strength cut. She'll be fine, guys. No, she'll be she'll be fine. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Hold on, hold on. I want to pull one more card. A page of ones. Okay. So she'll be fine, even though she might have like her ups and downs and everything, and all these big changes that are happening happening now in her career with the real and all that. But then I have the page of wands. So a new opportunity is going to come her way. And it's going to be something fun. Something fun. I'm. She might even produce something of her own. It might be a reality show she, or, or a show or TV show. But mm -hmm. it's going to be something that she's going to produce, be a part of, be the star of it. And it's going to be more of a fun lot more light entertainment more fun well it was just announced a couple of months ago that she just signed a first look deal with nbc universal so that's oh. a, that's good for with her production company so that's awesome Ooh, that's good and she's going abroad and i just saw a house somewhere abroad so i think she's going to be spending her summer abroad She's going to be staying at someone's place. It could be this boyfriend, this man I see, or a friend who is who owns a house and allows them to go and sort of house it or stay there. So mm. I see her traveling, but yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then I've got the judgment card here. She's definitely going to, she's working on something. She's going to work on something new. As you said, NBC, but definitely it's going to be different than the real, the housewives. You know what? It might be a show where it's not like in a studio, but it mm -hmm. could be sort of like a road, like road show or traveling. Okay. She's going to incorporate a lot of the stuff that she loves into her show, and she's going to make it fun and informative and educational. Okay. It's going to be a good mix. I, I have a good feeling about it. And she has a great personality, so I could definitely yeah. see her doing that. Yeah. So it, it looks good, but I just feel that... She as well. She she's sort of strapped for money at the moment. Yeah, it's weird. Why why are all these people sort of strapped for money? Or <laughs> Beverly Hills. <laughs> Speaking of strapped for money, we want to move on to Erica Jane. I, I think so. Because recently, over the weekend, Erica Jane decided to post on her Instagram story a video of her throwing Garcelle's new book in the garbage can. In the garbage can, there were a lot of uh, a lot of things that people were, were commenting on, including an old phone, like an actual like landline phone. I saw that. And the fact that she doesn't recycle. And there was a little teddy bear, like a little plush thingy of a frog, right next to that old phone. I was like, what? Weird. Very, like, very strange. Very weird. Yeah. What's, what's going on between Garcelle and Erica? Is this real or is this just for TV? Hmm. Good question. Ooh, one wanted to jump out, but it just went back in, so. <sighs> they don't like each other. <laughs> they just don't see eye to eye. They're very different. They don't like each other. And someone played someone dirty. Someone played someone dirty. Who? We will have to watch the show, I guess. Oh. No, wait. Hold on. I'll tell you straight. Who? Did Erica, is Erica moving again? Did you just move? I have no idea. I mean, she might need to. <laughs> I think she's going to move again. Okay, so... Queen of Cups. So, Erica is the problem here. Of course. I mean, you know, but so is Garcelle. So they're both at fault. I mean, I'm not surprised. Garcelle okay. is not innocent. I love her for the show, but she's not innocent. She's not innocent, but I do feel that Garcelle is the lesser evil. Let's just of course, say she's not real drama. evil. <laughs> um, in this drama, and I don't understand, guys. Erica's definitely moving. 
Our guy is having serious financial issues at the moment. Queen of Cups. And what we're probably going to see on the show is Erica overindulging. Drinking, mm. maybe other stuff too. I feel that we're going to see a side of Erica that, we, you know, she's always well put together and very controlled and very icy. Mm -hmm. We're going to see a very different Eric. And I think it has to do, and I feel it has to do with um, substances. Oh. Alcohol. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. You're right. So, uh, and I feel that that, so that side of Erica is what triggers Garcelle. And Garcelle pokes, pokes, and tries to you know, to sort of like trigger Erica. And that's what I'm saying that also Garcelle is at fault, but Erica's reactions and Erica, the way she, we're going to see her, I tell you, this season is going to be scary. I mean, we've been scared by her before. What? What? Yeah. But <laughs> we're going to see a very sort of disheveled and chaotic side of Erica this season. Well, Erica's going through a lot because it was just last week that Jay Edelson revealed that there, she's involved in a $50 million lawsuit where he's accusing her of being the front woman. I want to know, because you know, of course, her attorney's going to come out and say all what they want to say. What is Erica thinking about this lawsuit? Speaking of, we did a reading on Erica mm -hmm. and it's exactly what I had said. I said that she is just as guilty as Tom, she's, they were in on it, allegedly, but they were. And because you remember, you, you were asking me if they will ever find the money, if they will ever, ever trace the money, where is the money? I remember that reading, funnily enough, but parts mm. of it. Um, and I do remember that when I did the reading, I could see that Erica is just as much to blame as her husband or ex-husband. So I wasn't surprised when I read about Edelson, mm. Edelson's um, post. How is she feeling about this lawsuit? How is she okay. feeling? Like, where's her head at when it comes to this lawsuit? I mean, she's facing multiple lawsuits right now, but this one was really shocking because it really pinpointed her involvement, specifically that she came on this show to help in this process of being a front woman. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. <laughs> Everything is alleged here. Again, the drinking card for me, this Queen of Cups. So, this, so what we see on this show, it's real that she's drinking. Mm -hmm. Heavily. She's mm. working. She's working, working, working to make money because she's strapped for cash. We know that. Um, Queen of Swords. That's the Erica card. That's totally. She's such a queen ice of lady. Swords. The ice lady. Very abrupt and everything. So that's her face. That's the face that she wants to come. But you know what? Regardless what, regardless whether she's guilty or not, or how involved she was in this whole situation with Girardi Keys, she will get opportunities to work and make money. Wow. She will continue to make money. She will find ways. And I do feel that she has silent supporters. She has some people in the background who do support her. Through advice, money, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, money, so, really? Ace of Wands, yeah, she's definitely Ace of Wands. Um, definitely she's... So how she feels about it, guys, Kemp, I, I, I have to say she's very narcissistic because from what I'm picking up, it's almost like she's completely ignorant of how much in deep... S-H-I-T she's in. Like, she's she's working now. She's hustling. She's mm -hmm. hustling. Literally. You know how much she's charging for those those hair extensions? <laughs> I heard. <laughs> do they sell? Just, do, do, I, I, I didn't even know about those hair extensions. I mean, she, it's not like she heavily promotes them. Well, this, well, uh, this season she will. Oh, obviously, yeah. <laughs> um, so... No, she's working. She's working to make money. She's working. She's hustling. Um, she's showing a brave face. Opportunities are going to come her way. But legally here, 
No legal cards, nothing. I don't feel anything legal at the moment around her. It's almost like she's turning a blind eye. It's almost like I'm brushing it away. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to cross that bridge when I get there. That, that's the vibe I'm picking up. She's more focused about making money right now and sort of securing her future mm. financially. This is what I see. And she has and she has a male, a king of cups here, who's supporting her, helping her. He's like a friend, you know, like a shoulder to to cry on and lean on. Okay. Um, but he, but this is not the one who is helping her financially. This mm. I don't feel that this person is super rich, mega rich, but I just feel that she she trusts him. Maybe one of her glam squad or someone that she Mikey? Works with. Is it Mikey? Could be. I don't know. I don't know what his sign is. But Mikey's too young. I feel he's a bit older, this person. Okay. A bit older well, okay. than, than, than Mikey. I mean, not than Erica. Yeah. Since we're, so, still, yeah. Since we're talking about Erica, I mean, I, I'm sure we asked this question during her, her exclusive reading. But what's going on with Tom Girardi? Is Tom Girardi faking this? And I'm sure I've asked this question again, but you never know. Things can change. Let's see. Let's see if he's, is he faking this, you know, uh, dementia diagnosis? I mean, he's been accused of a lot of things in this case. And I don't want us to forget that he is the one that was at the top of the food chain when it comes to stealing from clients. Mm -hmm. But he also had a lot of help. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't do that alone. Including oh, former partners, the California State Bar, allegedly. Wow. All right. So, I mean, I asked, I didn't ask whether he's faking it because I don't want to ask specific, I want to ask open ended questions. And I asked, how is his health? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on because that you can see more when you ask that you know what i still don't feel that he's got alzheimer's or dementia mm -hmm. he does have some health issues i do mostly with his eyes he might have cataract cataract no. or, or i mean or, he's 80 something years old come right, on now right Never. but i do feel like his eyes are getting worse and worse mm. and it also uh, uh he's not his memory but i'm gonna say like how sharp he is but it has I mean, nothing. He's 80 something years old. True. Well, listen, my grandmother was 95. My great grandmother was 96 when she died, and she was super sharp until. Well, she I'm sure died. she also wasn't a hateful, evil person. So no, you're right. Victim. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. But I, guys, I don't see dementia. I don't see it's true. I don't. I don't. Mm. I don't see it. I don't see it. And he's got. Money hidden. I think we did see that in the last reading. Yes. No, but this is completely confirmed. Ooh. He knows exactly what he's doing. Allegedly. So all this is... <laughs> Look. <laughs> <from about crystal. laughs> Where are mine here? Let me just take my... Malachite. Yeah. Ooh. That's a Malachite. Oh, there you hey, go. Then I hey, brother. They're, they're siblings. That's the malachite you got from Luminary, right? Yeah. yeah. They're siblings. I can't even remember the amount of crystals I have. I can't remember where I got what, but now I definitely got the malachite from you. <laughs> no, definitely, yeah. And what's malachite good for? Oh, malachite is so, oh, protects you against the evil eye. So oh. perfect for this reading. <laughs> <laughs> you just hold on to this malachite. <laughs> we'll just put it here while we're reading. Yeah, that's that's what I see about um, um, uh, Tom, to be honest. And you know what? He's got a girlfriend too. This is crazy. How an eighty-something man can can a broke eighty-something? Well, I mean, uh, technically, he has money somewhere else, but to the world, he, he's broke. <laughs> but that card, and I remembered it just now. It's the same card that we picked last time when we did that the the, the Erica Girardi reading. He's a narcissist. This is my narcissist card. He's deaf. He is a hundred percent a narcissist, and everything we see is a show, allegedly. 
don't believe everything you hear or see from that camp. Let's ask, let's move over to Sutton and what's going on with Sutton this season. Oh yeah, I forgot about Sutton. Because <laughs> that's never a good sign. But you know, we we got to some juicy stuff. Let's let's see what's going on with Sutton because here's the thing. One of the things, and this is associated with Erica, Erica's trying to move the focus off of herself, and now it's focused on Kathy Hilton. We'll get to Kathy after we get to Sutton. Because apparently they're saying that Kathy Hilton says derogatory things about Sutton's assistant. However, Sutton has taken to social media with her assistant and a picture of Kathy, her and Kathy together, with her assistant saying that those rumors are not true. What's hmm. true? <laughs> well, first of all, what's going on with Sutton? I like okay. Sutton. She has really grown on me. I like her too. That jumped out. Hold on. And then we can dig through all the assistant stuff. <laughs> well, Juicer. Well, oh, Sutton. Hmm. She's okay. This is personal. This is for her private life. Private in her private life, unrelated to housewives. She's going through some kind of stress at the moment, and it has to do with one of her sons. Oh. Okay, because um, I have this Nine of Swords, so it seems like she's up at night. She's very stressed. She's she's not sure what to do or how to handle the situation. And I feel maybe her uh, her um, how old is her oldest son? Like it, they're teenagers, aren't they? I like, think either a lot older than that. I'm not even sure. Young adults, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm why I'm asking is because I feel like one of her sons is in trouble. Oh. He got himself in trouble. Ooh. So yeah, the wheels. He's he got himself in trouble. So I'm not sure if this has to do with like gambling or he invested his money or he invested his money or trusted someone with some money and he got scammed. But it just seems to me that right now what's going on is her focus is on her son. Mm. And trying to to sort of put out that fire, let's just say. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. She's busy right now. She's so busy. They're all. They're all. You know what? They're all working so hard, and they're all working on. And it's the right thing. It's smart to capitalize on their fame because of housewives. We're gonna see Sutton as well, um, promoting something new on mm -hmm. the show. This is going to be like an infomercial <laughs> for like housewives, and I'm not, I'm not down for that. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, she's got a lot of stuff. Sudden, right now, she has a lot going on, a lot in her personal life, work, a lot. Wow. Especially well, since we're talking about Sutton, there, as I said to you before, there was that rumor about Kathy Hilton using a derogatory term towards the assistant. Did that happen? Because this is going to be Kathy Hilton's season. I don't see Kathy Hilton coming back, but I'll ask the cards. Okay. Yeah, I don't see her coming back either, but we'll ask. But um, So what did Kathy, or what happened between Kathy and the assistant? Can't tell me. Okay, okay, okay. One day the cards are going to be like, mind your business. <laughs> wow. Okay, let me reshuffle one second because my cards are seems that they keep sending me the same cards. So trying to say something to me. Hold on. I can tell Kathy and the assistant what happened there. Okay, let's find out. So, Kathy and the assistant. I'm not 100% sure it is as it is. You know, I'm, I'm not sure this is the case. Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm sure it's something else. But I don't feel it has to do with the assistant. Maybe the assistant was present Maybe the assistant said something that Kathy misconstrued or didn't, you know, understand properly. And there was a little bit of a, not even tension, I'm going to say, just a discussion around it. Mm -hmm. 
The issue with Kathy is with her sisters. So I feel you're like reading my mind. They're throwing sand in our eyes with a whole Sutton thing. It has to do with Kyle and her sisters. Well, Kathy. at the end of this trailer, literally, there is a conversation with Lisa Renna, Kyle, and Kathy. And basically, Lisa Renna is calling Kathy out for something that she said about Kyle. But since you are, you the perfect segue. Um, what did Kathy say about Kyle? And it's probably true. <laughs> wow. Because that's the issue. And we're going to see a lot of tension between the um, Rich's sisters. I hear currently they're not speaking. Kyle and Kathy. And there was rumors that you know, Kathy Hilton had, had unfollowed um, Kim. However, Kathy responded in the comment section and say, oh, no, I didn't realize uh, that I wasn't following her and blah, blah, blah. We can ask about that. <laughs> that's Hold on, true. let's ask about Kyle first. Yes. Okay. What happened between Kathy and Kyle, please? Really weird. I think it's so unfortunate. There's such troubles. So, and, and, ooh, yes. Tower card. <gasps> Kathy and Kyle. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Not again. Kathy what? doesn't want to talk to her. Kathy's done. Kathy walked out. Oh dear. Kathy is done. And what what is this about though? Why do I see definitely has to do with personal stuff that have been unresolved? And I feel maybe inheritance stuff or the how the mom's house or not Kim's you know, damn house. Kim's damn house. <laughs> I don't know. There's that, but that's not it. Okay, there's that too. Mm -hmm. I don't know something about the mom. See, Always. the mom came up. The mom Always. came up. But is this about? But is this about Big Kathy, or is this about? Hold on, I need to explore this. That relationship. Let me just tell you this: Kathy and Kyle will never ever get to that point. That sweet point place that they used to be never oh that's sad it's really sad they're never gonna be close again it seems to me it's just and i got the ten of swords ten of swords is like done that that's the death card to me that's death uh, not like literal yeah death, yeah yeah, yeah. Of a relationship the death of something Oh man! Why do I feel okay? This is the thing, but I need to explore this a little bit more. And I was picking it up before when I said that it. It either has to do with Big Kathy or something to do with. Now, it's very complicated. It's not. We might see a little bit of it on the show, but it's there are lots and lots of layers when mm. it comes to the relationship and the falling out. One of the kids got involved. Something it has to do with one of the kids. And maybe it could be, I don't know who, whether it's Kyle or um, that involved one of, of Kathy's children. So Paris or Nikki or the other way around. So mm -hmm. someone involved the children or one of the children in something personal, something that, that they had, like... Something that was from the past, I feel. Mm. And it does have to do with family, does have to do with Big Kathy, like the mom. Mm. And it has to do with inheritance and all other stuff. And I do feel, I don't know, did Kyle get a loan from Kathy once, in a once upon a time? That's also what I'm feeling. Maybe Kathy helped Mauricio and... Kyle in the past financially, mm. Kathy and Rick, and there is something there around that. Oh my gosh. The Emperor God. Someone's playing strategy. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a psychic girl. <laughs> but she's a Capricorn. <gasps> she's a Capricorn. See? So, um, I'm a psychic, didn't even know it. But it's not the it's not the women. What? 
What's Mauricio's Maurice Mo's um star sign? Do you remember? I think he's is he um oh my god, we need to check it out. I'm gonna look now. Ah uh, I think I had it. Let's see. He is his sun sign is not cancer. He's cancer too. Wait, is this is what this is according to them? Um, they said he's like, his sun is cancer. His moon is Pisces. His um, what is his rising? Oh my goodness, where's his rising? Cancer and Pisces. He he won't find his rising because they don't have the the time of birth. All right, all right. No, I'm not gonna get along with him. <laughs> oh my god maybe the cheating rumors were true ooh ooh allegedly <laughs> oh my god oh. I mean just saying so this this one is not Mauricio so not Rick either so to me it just seems that there is and it's not Kyle Kemp. I feel it's Kathy. There's a side of Kathy that we don't see. Oh, I believe it. I mean, we like the quirky, funny mm -hmm. Kathy. It's entertaining. But I, I do think she's ruthless. Ooh. I mean, I do feel that she is. She doesn't kid around when it comes to her money and her family. And she can be ruthless even towards her sisters. There is a backstory here that's... There's just, there's no going back. There's no going back. It's the end. It's done. <gasps> oh, I and mean, I'm I believe that. I definitely believe that about Kathy. And <sighs> it's about money, Camp. I tell you, it's inheritance and money. I do feel maybe in the past they did some kind of dealings or they got a loan or Kathy and Rick helped them. But it's all surfacing up because of like emotions, heightened emotions and stuff like that. Things came out just like back in season, what was it, two or three? At the limo when when yeah, when Kyle and Kim were screaming, yeah. So, how's Is Kim? Doing? Look, how, look, how's Kim doing? Can we just pull a card for Kim? Oh, you know they want. You know Kim revealed that Andy had wanted her to come back to the show. Oh, and she declined. I don't remember if she said. I mean, she didn't come back. So she can't, she's coming back this season. No, no, no. She didn't come back. Oh, oh, no, no. She didn't come back. Yeah, I was like, what? We're gonna have Kim too. I mean, I would love to have all of them on there, but Me too. it seems too. very toxic, the whole situation. It seems very toxic. And, and you know, Kyle is the wounded, the typical wounded child of that family. She's the mm. one that wants to bring everyone together. She's trying to make everything work. She's trying to fix everything. Um, Kathy is the oldest. She's more of the aloof one, the more distant one. Kim is the broken child, the talented broken child of the family. It's a mess. It's a mess. Mm. And I feel bad for them. But that's what happens when a mom, you know, pushes for her little children, little girls to become actresses at a tender mm. age of five or six. Mm. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. Um, but let's let's look at Kim now. Um, what can you tell me about Kim? Ooh. Kim is also involved in this fight. In a way. Yep. Mm-hmm. So is that hunt. so 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 she really did unfollow Kim. It seems so. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Kim is definitely part of that or involved in that fight. It's it doesn't look good for her. She's not in a good place. She's oh. super stressed about it. And she's in the middle. That's exactly what I felt when I pulled the tower card. She's in the middle between the two sisters. So they've put her in the middle and she doesn't know. She can't she can't be neutral. There's no way to be neutral in this situation, the way things are, and she's no idea on how to fix this, make it better, whose side to take on. She's confused. It duck it's a mess. A mess. Oh. A mess. Damn. All but right. she's, got a, she's got a lover. She's got a boyfriend. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good for her. Good for her. I yeah. Was, uh, let's move on because this this is such a huge cast of people that we have to move on. 
Yeah, true. I, I mean, you there was a lot of clarification on what's going on with Kathy Hilton and her sisters, and I'm sure we're going to see it play out during the season. But at the middle of that is Lisa Renna. Mm-hmm. Lisa Renna is there giving her usual, oh, you look so angry. Her <laughs> face. True. First of all, I'm not going to even dig into Lisa Renna's involvement in this situation. Let's dig into Lisa Renna's personal stuff because she Ooh. doesn't want us to know that stuff. And it was re- revealed on social media, her relationship with her daughters are a little rocky. What's happening there, Lisa Renna? You look Ooh. so bad. Lisa Renna and her diapers. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's not good. Oh. <gasps> mm, yeah, Lisa Renna, poor girl. Yeah, the family. She's heartbroken. Heartbroken mm. at the moment. She's lonely and heartbroken. Ten of swords for her, too, in her personal life. It seems that it, it doesn't look good. And the emperor here, the dad, I don't know what happens with Harry fucking Hamlin, but it seems to me that he's trying to keep the family together. I feel the girls are siding with their dad. Well, why are they siding with him? What is Lisa? <laughs> what? Because I think they probably just want to distance themselves from her. So mm-hmm. I, I feel that the girls were always closer to their dad than their mom. So mm-hmm. even before this happened. So there was more of a connection with the dad, even though he wasn't there much. She's hoping that things will t- t- will turn around um, with when the air sh- when the show airs or when things start unfolding. She's hoping that it w- things will have calmed down by then mm-hmm. and that things will get better. But it her, in her personal life, it, she's not in a good place. She's not with that three of swords. Broke off. She's depressed. I uh, she's. I think she's taking antidepressants allegedly. Oh, oh that's sad. Yeah. Wow. And, and Harry, I see him and I feel him at a distance. He's so, in Canada. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know. Always in Canada. He's always in the woods with the bears in Canada. But now, I mean, a distance, like emotionally as well, well psychologically. She she's very much on her own. She's very alone at the moment. Lisa Renna. And I do feel that in her life, generally, she's been, regardless how we see her and how she comes across, she's very much a loner. She doesn't mm-hmm. connect on a very, very deep level with a lot of people. <laughs> she can, she can, but can not. She? Yeah, she can. But these are people that are outside this world that she lives in. I feel mm. she's got a couple of friends from school or from her hometown. Mm. Mm that she trusts and she opens up to them and she relies on them yeah. psychologically. That, that, that's what I mean. But generally, no, she's, she's very sort of standoffish. Can we ask the cards? I don't know what the question is, but you know, her mom Lois died uh, a few months ago and we see it play out during the season. Oh. Like where is her feelings when it comes to her mom passing? Obviously it's, it's a sad situation, but you know, death like that, People have different reactions to it. What, like, what, what's her feeling on it? True. Hold on. Ooh. She wants to see her. <laughs> Nine of Cups. The wish card. Wish card. Uh, I think I know why that. Is I'll tell you in a minute. Hold on, exploring. Very guarded, very guarded with her emotions, Lisa Renna. Meaning mm-hmm. that I don't feel that she's she hasn't had the time or she hasn't mourned yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But here's the thing with the Wish of Cups. I feel that Lois probably was quite sick or she was in pain, mm-hmm. and it was actually a relief that Lois left. Oh. Wow, that's that's what I'm getting. I see Lisa Anna went there or was about she was going to visit her mom, mm-hmm. or she was on her way to her mom when her mom passed. Oh, and I feel it was like a blessing in disguise, meaning that I think Lois was not uh, was oh, not. Wow. And, and here is the death, and they were, and it was it was a long like she was 
not well for a very long time. So they were waiting for her to sort of transition for a long uh -huh. time. And then it happened. And Lisa Renna just hasn't had the time to process yet uh -huh. what's really happened. Because on one hand, it's a relief that her mom is now on the other side and she's not she's no longer suffering. But on the other hand, I don't feel that she's let it out. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Dorito. <laughs> oh, I'm about Dorito too. I mean, this is going to be a big cast. I know. That's what I'm saying. I was like, wow, we, I almost forgot about Dorito. But let's talk about Dorit. Dorit's big storyline right before the season even started filming. There were rumors that Dorito was not going to return for the new season because so many people, fans have said for a very long time, she has not had a storyline in a long time. Mm. But as you know, she had the burglary. And people have speculated that the burglary wasn't real. Can mm -hmm. we ask the cards? Was it real? Was it fake? We're rooting for you, Dorit. Look. I feel it was real, but let's see what the cards say. Okay. No jumper cards. So obviously there's much they want to say. <laughs> well, everything was hunky dory until I picked the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is that sometimes some things that we things that we see might be an illusion. <laughs> you might as well go under the covers, Cam. Right, I'm about to. <laughs> I was really part of me was like hoping for her. Like a part of me, I was like, I would hope you wouldn't mess with something like this. But <clears throat> let me say it differently: how I feel it. And as soon as I picked the card, they just confirmed that. So this is how I see it: it's not per se staged. Okay, it's not mm. like they said to these people, "We pay you, make it look real, mm. et cetera, et cetera," because we want this insurance money or whatever it is. Mm. I do feel, though, that these people that broke in had some dirty business with PK, 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 PK. Let's say it one more time. <laughs> PK. <laughs> <laughs> so, because PK, PK has done dirty business with them, allegedly. And they were coming to collect. It was a warning. Oh. It was a warning because then I have the Queen of Swords next to it. And she warns. She's unforgiving. Whoa. So mm -hmm. so so that's why you, you felt that it was real because it really was real, but there was a connection between the two of the people. So they kind of knew. Meaning that it was real, that it wasn't staged by PK and Dorit. Mm -hmm. That they didn't pay anyone. They weren't aware that was going to happen. In mm -hmm. that sense, it was real. But PK knows very well or has had dealings with these people before. Ooh. And this was a warning. This was a warning. So I wouldn't be surprised if... Um, this King is a mess. King of Swords, definitely. Someone does not like PK and someone's after him. He's made people mad. like. Mad, I feel. Besides the Bravo fans. Besides Bravo fans. It's, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, and I, you know what? I like PK in a sense. I liked him last season. That's about it. I can't say past. That. Yeah, okay, exactly. I mean, there's, I don't, I, there's nothing bad I can really say about him, but I did, I did, since I first, we first saw him on our screens, I always felt that there was something dodgy about him. And I know he's more like, he comes from East London. He's more cognitive. He's more of this rough. And they're like hustlers and all that. I get that. Mm. So maybe that's the vibe we're all picking up. But I think there's much more to it. Mm. I, mean, I mean, there are I, allegations. But there's also, uh, you owe the man million, millions of dollars in back taxes. There's something. And I don't know if it's going to come out, though. That's the thing. I'm not sure if it's definitely PK. Definitely this was a warning to PK. 
business dealings. Wow. I tell you, it's something fishy here. And the thing is, I'm not even sure we're going to find out about it. I don't think we're going to find out about it. I don't either. think we're going to find If we do, it's going to be like years down the line. You know, it's, it might be. Come back to this video, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, that's what that was about. Well, this is a perfect segue to someone else that's dodgy. We have a new housewife, newest housewife coming to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is Diana Jenkins. As I said at the top of this video, that's not even her real name. She changed her real name. She's a truly, you know, successful woman because she went from being this poor woman from Yugoslavia that marries the UK Barclays head honcho and divorced him about like 10 years ago. And got a, a good amount of money out of that divorce. Since then, she's, you know, started businesses. But, but, there was some drama that I read over the weekend about allegations. I'm not going to even tell you those allegations. I just okay. want the cards to tell us, who is Diana Jenkins? Exactly. Who is? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Diana Jenkins. Because in, in, in the trailer, she's like, oh, you need a new villain? Here I am. Uh -huh. And I literally retweeted that. And I said, I have a feeling that this is not going to age well for her. No. Nope. With Lisa Renna and Erica in that cast? Hmm, let's see. What can you tell me about Diane Jenkins? And sidebar, she's friends with the Kardashians. Oh. <laughs> This is going to be an interesting season. <laughs> Diane Jenkins. Yep, she's an entrepreneur. She makes her own money. She's got businesses. Very strategic. She's very, very smart. Very mm. smart. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's a sassy minx. <laughs> Three of Wands. Oh, she comes in with a plan. So if she wants... She knows exactly what she's doing. If she's going to be the villain of this season, it was planned. This is strategy, okay? Mm. This is not really her. Mm. She's put on a show very much. She gets what she wants. That's what we're going to see on this show, so I don't think the ladies are going to love that. She's mm. persistent. She knows how to get what she wants. They're not going to be happy about that. Hard worker. Um, yeah. I feel that we're going to see an exaggerated uh, side of herself. Um, she she comes in. She knows what she's doing. She's going to play the game. You know, she's really going to play the game. She's going to light some fires there on purpose. Mm. But it doesn't mean that she's bad, okay? I don't oh. feel that. Oh, okay. I feel that so, she's very smart. Okay. And manipulative. And, Yeah. She knows how to play the chess game very, very well. So that's going to be interesting because I feel she's going to okay, move so I'm gonna, around I'm the pond. I'm going to throw a monkey wrench into the situation because these are allegations. We don't know if these are true. There are allegations that she may have been a madam. Oh. <laughs> and Hayden Pantaneri, you know, the actress, yeah. mm -hmm. may, I, I, I don't want to even say. I want to see what the cards say. What's the okay, with, with the madam situation and hand pantaneering? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm asking. Whoa. These are allegations. I want to say that again. I, we don't know if this is true. I don't know how to answer this. I mean, I know what the answer is, but I don't know how to answer this. Hold on. Let me pull one more card, please. <laughs> I got with your face. <laughs> um, take it as you will. That's a Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is about charming. Charm. He's a charmer, a serial dater. Yes, I feel that she was. Was past tense. Past tense. It's over with that Ten of Swords. What but, about um, it wasn't like she was, but it wasn't like for a year. Like, it wasn't just like a short term thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was several years. Mm. It was working in that business. And what about Hayden Pantaneer? What's the association between the two? 
Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh my god, this is juicy, y'all. Look, wait, while she shuffles the cards, this was juicy, right? When I read this, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Like, I really wanted to believe that she was successful, that she married Rich, she, and she took that million, and then she was like, you know, I'm going to make more millions. And then I read this thing, and I was like, oh my god, really? Wow. That was just our sidebar. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there's something fishy. Mm -hmm. The devil card came up. So the connection is a bit, how am I going to say this? Dark? Just the dark. There's something. Hmm? I was literally thinking dark. You were thinking dark, right? Um, I'm just. Yeah, that because that's what I'm picking up. That connection between them is dark, but I want to know why or how. And they're not showing me much. It's just showing me Queen of Wands, Knights, Knight of Wands. Did they work before? Did, did they know each other from the past? Did they work together? That's the the, the rumor on the street. Because that's what I'm getting, that they know, know each other. And I also feel not only did they know each other, they partied hard together, if you know what I mean. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I don't... Knight of Swords. Yep, they've got a past. They've got mm. a past. And I don't think they're... Um, they're talking at the moment. They haven't had a falling out, but I don't feel that they're close or they hang out at the mm -hmm. moment, like right now. But something is, yeah. I think you're right. If that's what the question was, if they'd known each other from the past, from her escort days, mm -hmm. um, then according to my cards, and this is for entertainment purposes only, let me remind everyone, it's a big yes. And they also partied hard. So they know things about each other. Okay. <laughs> she also has partied with the Kardashians. The Kardashians have been, you know, photographed at her $120 million home that she sold to the WhatsApp um, creator uh, mm. for, I think, for a way less than that. Um, what's her association with the Kardashians? And we've done a reading on the Kardashians, so I really don't want to delve. If it gets that dark, then I'm just going to be like this. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take mine, too. I'll be like... <laughs> um, hold on. Her association with Kardashians. Let's see. That's an interesting question. Let me see what comes up, though. Oh, jumper card, Knight of Swords. Something behind. Yeah, something behind closed doors. Like, not secrets, but I feel that she knows things about them, private stuff about them that we don't. Mm. Okay. Um, so she's been around them. Queen of Wands again. Six of Swords. It doesn't look dark, thank God. So it's not that kind of connection. But there is another connection, which I'm a bit... Oh, no. Take it back. Oh, bloody hell. Damn. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I do feel. This is out there. Don't shoot me, people. <laughs> okay, this is allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Chris Jenner is going to go after me. I know this. But um, is it possible that Diane Jenkins... Oh, no, yeah. Diane Jenkins might be sort of fluid. Oh. And is it possible that one of the Kardashians, and I have one in mind, is also fluid and we're not aware of it? Do you see where I'm going with this? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then they've been to... Mm-hmm. Which one's yep. fluid? I kind of feel... Lover's card and devil. There you go. Who's the fluid one? <laughs> well... My suspicion, I can't tell you for sure, is like I, I would say Courtney or Chloe. 
I was thinking more Courtney. Yeah, I was I was going more to Courtney, but I I, I mean I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't it. be surprised if Chloe Chloe was like I'm done with men at this point, <laughs> but I I still think Courtney. So it could be like an experimentation or a friendship that kind of led to that. Um, connection. The article that I read about mm -hmm. them hanging out her, at, at her home, it was a picture of Courtney. Just saying. There you go. The other thing is, did they live together for a little short? I mean, was she like, what I mean, live together, not like as a couple, but did she move in for a few weeks into the Kardashians' home or did they? Well, the story that I read is that the Kardashians moved into her $120 million mansion that she had at the time. And they had spent like a summer there or something like that. Yeah, that's true. Because I see it. So mm -hmm. that's so. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. I think that there was a past, sexual past. Ooh. To you never know the cards are going to reveal. Wait, what? And it's was all is all so hush hush. That's why I'm saying Chris Jenner is gonna kill me. Because you know how she's like protecting her brood. So um mm -hmm. okay. So there's there is that connection there, but they're not again, they're not friends now. It's not like they talk or they text. Mm -hmm. That that friendship or that relationship has fizzled out. But definitely there is a past there and definitely um, they kept it under wraps. And they will. Wow. They will. I wanna, they told me to pull one more card. Oh. Judgment. Judgment card. You know why they told me to pull one more card? Because I heard NDA. I, okay. I heard NDA in my head when I was talking. Mm -hmm. And they said pull the card and then I have the judgment. So that for me, yes, probably there's been an NDA has been signed. Wow. And mm -hmm. then to the point where I feel that she she's not allowed to even talk about Kardashians. Like she wow. can she can talk about it, but not um share stuff about them or things that she did with them. Wow. So it's, she's gonna be like mums the word on the Kardashians, very much like Larsa Pippen on Real Housewives of Miami. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. That's interesting. That was the juiciest part of the reading. I, I would say it to the end. I say it to the end. Uh, is it too soon or too early to ask how how is the season going to go overall? I think that's the way okay. Way let's wrap. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's see what I get. So ratings wise, yeah, ratings wise, the popular. I mean, it's one of the most popular. It's the highest rated the last couple of years of the franchise. Is Andy Cohen going to be happy? We'll find out. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> on a different video mm -hmm. oh I can't wait for that one. Oh, we might as well tell them what it is we'll tell them at the end hold on mm -hmm. let me just um, and, and, and then we can ask them what are the questions they want us to answer in, the, in that, that that's a there might be some stuff idea. that we don't even think about that's a very good idea hold on let me just focus on this one now um Okay, so. It's going to be a good season. Mm. It's going to be a good season. Ace of Cups. So everyone's looking forward to it. It's going to start with a bang. Wow. So we're all going to I love mean, the first episode. Based off that trailer, I was like, this looks like it's going to be good. I know. It's going to be good it's gonna get better we're gonna have a lot of cliffhangers and a lot of drama it's gonna be interesting it's not gonna be the typical like bravo where they just do to be continued which we're done with that bravo we don't want that to be continued just cram everything in one bloody episode mm -hmm. um but here it's it's there's just a lot going on yeah it's gonna be a very good season and ratings wise, ratings wise, it is going to be one of the best uh, compared to the last three seasons. Yes. Wow. Andy, go buy yourself a new car. <laughs> Speaking Look, of Andy, guys, that will be the next collab that we do. It will be on uh, about Andy Cohen. So let us know in the comments after you've liked the video and subscribed. Let us know in the comments what kinds of questions that you want to ask. I know I have plenty, but you guys can think of things that I don't even think about.
Yeah, we'll we'll collect all the questions and Kempire is going to ask them. We're going to record that video next week. So you're going to have it next week and it's going to be your Easter present. So guys, mm -hmm. this is exciting. I mean, I know a lot of people wanted us to do Andy for a very long time. So. I completely forgot. Maybe that was yeah. intentional. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess we're going to get Andy's attention after this. So. Good or bad, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Who knows? But so that's it for today. That was a long one and that was a good one, especially the end. I'm I'm still trying to process that. I'm like, oh, what did I just see? What is going on? So this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna re-promote this video just before uh Real Housewives uh of Beverly Hills premieres. Just to remind everyone what we said here during Walk of Femme. Um, Kempire, please go ahead. There he is and follow him. You'll find everything down below. If you haven't already, most of you do anyways. And we, we appreciate all the love that you give us guys. You know, I know it's been a while since we last recorded and everyone missed people get withdrawal symptoms, Kemp. They're all like, I miss you. Gotta, and keep, them wanting I more. you. <laughs> Gotta keep them wanting more. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you for watching another Walk of Femme. Don't forget to, you know what you have to do. We don't need to remind you all the time. See you next time, guys. Bye.